Hello Internet! I am RD Lady and in the previous video I have shown you how to create a running animation using a collection of poses that were created based on frames from a gameplay video. Now let's refine this animation a little bit and let's see how the final results look like. Keyframes that are very close to each other will produce a very fast movement. If you want to slow down the movement between the keyframes, you can select keyframes and move them so they get far from each other. Another very important thing in a running animation is that the foot that is touching the ground, sustaining the body weight, should not slide on the ground, it should stay planted. If it's necessary, we can copy the coordinates in the x-axis of the foot in one keyframe and we can paste that same coordinate in another keyframe. In order to make the animation a little bit more realistic, we can also flex uh, the muscles of the feet so it will look like the foot is bending because of the pressure caused by the body weight of our character. Another thing that I have mentioned before is that the upper body movement is very important for a running animation. As I said before, this is a good reference. Uh, when you have the right leg on the front, then the upper body should, should turn to the right. When you have the left leg on the front, then the upper body should turn to the left. So this will give a much more natural impression for the running animation. So if you see me dedicating a lot of time turning the spine bones in every step of the running animation, it's because it's very important to make it look more natural. When we are editing a lot of bones in an animation, we can make a backup of the previous posture, just in case something goes wrong. And we can make this backup by just copying that posture. Another application of copying the postures from time to time is that we can copy the posture of some bones in one keyframe and then we can paste that same posture in the next keyframe. This is useful, especially if we have some keyframes that are very near to each other and are very similar and we want to edit just one of them and then copy that posture to the others. Another utility of copying postures is that 
let's say you are making a running animation and the left step of the run is very different from the right step of the run and you try to fix it but the animation is still very asymmetrical so what you can do is to copy the posture of the legs in the left step of the run and then you can go to the keyframe of the right step and you can paste that pose from the left step just using the function of paste opposite so you can make the posture of the left step of the run and the right step of the run look like a mirror but usually it's not that necessary i have adjusted the position of the bones and the orientation of the bones in the in these animations and i didn't need to do this As we move and twist the spine bones, we have also to adjust the position and orientation of the hand and the arm bones. To make the editing of the weapon much easier, I have added a skin modifier in this weapon. And I'm making this weapon follow the right arm. If you don't know what is a skin modifier or you don't know how to apply these modifiers, Please check out my first animation tutorial. The link to this tutorial is in the description of this video.
Okay, so now that we did a good refinement in our animation to make it more natural and smooth, now let's see how it will look like. We can generate a video of this animation in AVI format by using the render tool of 3ds Max. the animation looks too fast, we can slow down a little bit the playback of this animation. And if you prefer a stopped animation, which is when the character is moving the legs and the body but the body is not displaced in the XYZ space, we can make this stopped animation very easily. We just have to define the same X position for the body in every single keyframe in the animation. And we can do it very easily just copying the X coordinate of the body in one keyframe and then pasting that same coordinate in all the other keyframes. So this is how our final result looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this tutorial please like this video and subscribe to this channel to receive new tutorials. See you next time, bye bye!